hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're very welcome my name is gift egwenu in this channel i talk about tech career and lifestyle related topics in today's video i'm going to be talking about something that's very important aspect of your tech career so i'm going to be sharing five tips on how to stay relevant or how to stay up to date with the tech industry Right now, the tech industry is like evergreen. Literally, every single time there is a new framework, there is something new out there, there is a new technology. How do you keep up with all these things that are changing and still, you know, be able to do your work as a developer or as a designer, regardless of what specific profession you have in tech, it's the same for everybody. But how do you do this like sometimes it can get a bit overwhelming when you're trying to try you when you're trying to learn stuff and before you know it there's another version of it in today's video i am going to be sharing with you five tips on how you can stay updated these are tested and tried strategies that i myself have used and they work so i'm very happy to share them with you but before we move on, I would like to thank our sponsors for today's video. This video is sponsored by Pluralsight. Pluralsight is a platform for developers or technical professionals that are looking to upskill. With over 7,000 expert-led courses, Pluralsight provides you with different courses on different technologies that you can you know, watch and learn from expert authors that I think might be relevant for you to stay up to date uh, in the tech industry like I'm just talking about in this video, right? It's quite related now Pluralsight is Offering over 30% discount if you sign up I'm going to be leaving my link in the description below so you can check it out and you know Sign up and subscribe because there is quite a lot for you to keep up with and Pluralsight is going to help you stay up to date by upskilling on different technologies that you're using. I mentioned I'm going to be sharing with you some tips on how to stay relevant and I would like to start with the first one. This one has become like a mantra for me because I say it a lot and I also try to stick to it as much as I can and the first one is that you should always be learning. You should always be learning as long as you're in the tech industry it is very paramount for you and your for, for your career that you should always be learning keeping up to date with the technologies that you use from day to day and there are several different strategies that have applied to this that has helped me so i'm going to also share that with you as developers or designers regardless of your profession in tech there is going to be something new that's uh, coming up or something that you know you need to learn or you need to upskill on and it's always very important for you to level up and upskill so that you can stay relevant right? that's exactly what this video is about now i follow three different strategies for how i keep up with learning and i i think a couple of people have asked me in i think in a previous video that i made or somewhere else they asked me how do i stay up to date how do i learn and recently i not recently but in the last couple of months i've been trying these three ways and they've really helped me so the first one i would like to share with you is learning in public and i made a video about this a couple of months i probably probably last year on how what i think about this um process learning in public you can check that video out here but what is learning in public it is like the word says you learn in public so you commit to learning something publicly or building in public I, I see a lot of people doing building in public right now and it's basically you're holding every other person you're you're telling people to hold you accountable you know for instance i say i want to learn i want to be, i want to get a cloud certification and i post on twitter that you know hi everyone i'm trying to learn level up to you know sit for the um, amazon certification and yeah i want you all to hold me accountable i want to do this publicly i want to learn publicly that's one way to go about it because then you have people like that would that are looking forward to what you do at the end of the day and you would not want to you know disappoint them so you have to stick to that learning journey another one that i've recently tried is learning by building or learning by doing this also works this also works very well so you decide that you want to actually build something it could be for work or it could be for personal purposes but by deciding that you want to do something by having a goal in mind at the end of the day and you use that um, goal or use that project to learn 
what you're supposed to do because what's the most common way of learning for people is that they learn through courses video courses um you know articles which really helps but by the time you watch those videos and you learn those um read those articles but you end up not using it i i feel like that's just wasted knowledge or probably not wasted knowledge because you can eventually use it some other time when you know you remember it but by learning learning by doing helps cement or helps you you know understand really in detail what you've been reading up or what videos you've been watching so i really advocate for learning by doing or learning in public these are two great ways for you to always be learning the second tip that i have for you today is that you should join a community i know that i uh, right now it's different because a lot of um, communities are not functioning i'll say like local communities that i mean right now so meetups you know local conferences most of them are online and some of them are not even running anymore because of the pandemic but regardless of this situation i would say this is also another great way for you to you know stay relevant or stay up to date in the latest going on in the tech industry so if you're a products manager or if you're a developer in your local area look for communities that you could join because this helps you you know do the fifth thing that i'll talk about but i'll keep that for number five by joining local communities right now you can also join online communities because i feel online communities is more global because you can basically connect to different people across the entire planet and that is even more you know for me i see it as a more better benefit right for me because i can tap knowledge from people from asia europe africa and so on and so forth like the boundaries is limitless in when it comes to communities so i always advocate for you if you want to stay up to date with the latest that's going on especially in your field join the communities that are in your field so if you're a devops engineer look for a devops um, community to join if you're a front-end engineer look for a front-end community to join is always very helpful either you join them locally or you join them online they don't matter as long as you're part of a community is going to be very helpful for you the third thing on my list is this is what, something that you can actually even do passively is by subscribing to newsletters that are you know very relevant for you and for your um, domain also listening to podcasts and reading popular blogs so i do this very often um, i'm subscribed to a lot of newsletters i'm subscribed to css tricks and some other ones these are very very good ways to stay up to date you know why i say this is because every morning I check my email and by checking my email because I already subscribed to some of these newsletters and they always share relevant things right they always share what's happening in tech in new technologies you should be looking at you know updates to technologies you're already using they all come into my inbox without me having to look for it or search for it and I think that's a like game changer because every morning you wake up to new information another thing that I also do but not do very often is listening to podcasts so I am subscribed to some tech podcast and because some of those podcasts always talk about you know what is happening in the tech field or for instance if i subscribe to syntax fm which is by west boss i always learn a new thing or another just by listening and i can also do this passively or maybe i'm trying to do laundry and i'm also listening to a podcast or i'm taking a walk and i'm listening to a podcast so that also helps and finally i'm keeping up with the popular blogs there are a lot of blogs that are very very great i don't know for every domain now but i'm pretty sure that for every domain that you're in either front-end back-end devops products manager there is a particular publication or a blog that always put out relevant you know articles on specific domains so i'll definitely recommend that you follow them you know if you have rss if you have an rss reader like i do i currently have one i just add them there so i can always read them when i want like curating all these popular blogs together so i can always read them in one place i also do that and i use feedly which i'll leave in the link in the description in case you're interested in that the fourth thing that i do or that i would recommend you do is for you to constantly build your skills as a developer so not just your technical skills but also your soft skills 
it's very important for you to stay up to date in your relevant area so if you're a designer or you're a developer always you know staying in touch with the latest in your area not specifically trying to learn everything but looking at yourself like assessing your skills um i need to actually improve how i speak in public or i need to improve my leadership skills or i need to improve my soft skills just having these thoughts and then working towards it is also something that would help you stay relevant because then what you're just trying to do in the process is that you're building yourself right you're not just stagnant you're not just staying in one specific position the entire time in your career but you want to improve and you put in the work to actually improve number five which is the final one that i'd like to share is networking this is also very very important uh, a lot of people actually don't subscribe to this like it's optional i i might also say that these tips that i'm sharing is optional i'm not forcing you to do them i'm just telling you that these are things that can help you this networking part is also very uncomfortable for people. It was uncomfortable for me at first, but later I, I started learning how to do it properly and I became more comfortable doing it. So networking is basically you trying to keep up with the community, not just the community, but the um, specific leaders in your industry. So what I do or how I network is on LinkedIn, I use my socials for this on LinkedIn, on Twitter. I make sure that I'm following the people that I'm looking up to in a specific area. I follow the leaders in the tech, in my tech domain. So I follow creators of um, packages, for instance, the creators of Nox, creators of View, and so on. I follow those people because wherever, whenever they tweet something that's related to the tech that I'm working with, I, you know, I can see it and how it helps to go further one step ahead is to try to network with these people i know sometimes you might share or you might ask somebody something because these people don't see every single tweet they might not reply to you but a lot of times when you engage with this kind of people sometimes they reply to you and to me that's a game changer because you can imagine talking to I, I, I can imagine talking to a creator of you and you know having a conversation with that person or just asking a question and they reply back to me for that day I'm not going to have lunch because <laughs> I'm just joking I'm going to have lunch of course but it's just I see social media as so much more than now this is actually weird because I did a video last about not being on social media but social media is also very helpful in some areas and this is one of them in networking even though you can't network in person because right now we're in the pandemic another way for you to actually network is going to meetups attending conferences meeting people saying hi to people exchanging contacts but since we can actually do that now the best way for you to do it is by doing it online social media LinkedIn Twitter Instagram just engaging with people liking their tweets replying to them asking them questions you know that's how you network and it really helps and that's a tested and tried strategy that i have used so those are the five things i wanted to share in addition um i also recently learned about a system that also works and the system is called sun system i'm going to go into more details but i would like to say that this is from a pluralsight course that i checked out because obviously somebody already made a course about what i'm talking about the course is on pluralsight and it's called how to stay abreast in the ever-changing world of tech by duru katana and i learned this from his course i'm not going to say literally everything he said in this course but i'm going to definitely link it in the description it's on plural site so remember if you have access to plural site or if you subscribe you can also check this course out and he shares the system son system s there stands for skill acquisition which i already talked about by always be learning you for updates which i also talked about in my tips where you know keeping up to date with following blogs following podcasts following people and finally the end there starts from networking which was the fifth tip that i shared but he goes into more details and even shares you with you practical steps that you can take to follow these systems so i'll definitely leave the link in the description and i'd like for you to check it out so that's pretty much what i wanted to share with you all in this video and i hope you find them helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you like to see more of this type of content from me like tips and you know advice on how to stay relevant in tech 
please let me know in the comment section and even if you have more tips that i did not mention also please leave them in the comment section and please share what, what has worked for you so far i would definitely love to learn from you all thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you in my next video